What's up everyone, Revanji here, welcome to another episode of the Elder Scrolls Online. Okay my friends, welcome back. So we've managed to finish all of the main missions in this area, of course. And I guess we can continue with some uh, side quests to fully explore uh, this entire uh, southern elsewhere zone. But first, well, do I have a main quest here out of Merkmire? No, that is one of the side quests that we've grabbed here, I remember. My friend, you arrived just in time. I prefer not to face our old companion. But what about this guy? Like, is this another main quest? Abner Thorn. According to his letter, the two of you worked together after the plane melted to Baku. He even praised you. Didn't think Tharn was capable of such a thing. The old snake said he's bringing a friend along to discuss important business. He didn't elaborate on either subject. Just yeah, I guess we have one, one more main quest. Between Tharn's cryptic letter and Nafalar's strange mood. But how can there be another one? Sorts. Talk to Nafalar. Find out what troubles him while I prepare for Tharn. I appreciate you dealing with Nafalar. The dragon senses my unease over Tharn's letter, which only makes his own anxiety more pronounced. Meanwhile, I need to keep myself from thrashing the old battle mage the moment I see him. Abner Tharn is conceited, opinionated, condescending, and a pain in my arse. And those are as good. Maybe this is a main quest related to Northern elsewhere. I have the utmost a bit of transition between this, but we've already completed. We've already finished Northern elsewhere. Paces, he grumbles, he refuses to speak except in riddles, and he's only gotten worse since Thorn's letter arrived and my own mood soured. We both well, maybe this is like a bonus mission. Strength in the wilderness. We just don't know what it is. His letter indicated a threat to Southern elsewhere, no. but that was so the same region. I suppose he wants to tell us in person. Prudent, if frustrating. After all, one should never commit certain details to paper. I'm beginning to sense that. I told him about Nephilar and the Dragon Guard. And while he still punctuates every sentence with an insult, he seems genuinely concerned. That's different from the man we once adventured with. Yeah, no, this is not the main mission. 100%. It doesn't have the... Or maybe it is. Uh, the bearded one speaks as though I am not perched within striking distance and can hear every syllable he utters. I might find his hubris amusing in a different light, but the light that remains fades as darkness comes. A riddle to those hindered by limited perspectives. A profound truth to one such as I. Something ancient and powerful assaults my senses, but the I mean, gotta be a main mission. Unclear. If we're still talking to the main characters. Darkness. Perhaps an absence of light, it sets my scales on edge. My feeling is my own. It grew from a tickle behind my broken horn when the fool of a battle mage opened the halls of Colossus. Now it swirls like a black storm around me. Ah, quite unpleasant. Perhaps the new arrivals can shed clarity on what is to come. A portal? Here? Dark Aeon. Oh, how oh, there is. It. My head yeah, these are the people from uh, Northern. Elsewhere. And that was your best one yet? Abner Thorn. You are a hundred percent. Son of a bleary eye. Save your posturing, Sai. I missed you too, but we have a bigger problem to deal with. Five clock. My head spins from the efforts that took. Cadwell made it look so easy. By the moons, though, my heart sings at the sight of you, my friend. I did. Cadwell acquired power over portals after attuning at the Shadow Dance Temple. 
Tarn suggested I might have the same ability, and he has been helping me. Just between us, he is not the most patient teacher. Lord Garishri has my kingdom well in hand. We continue to clean up the mess left by the Usurper Queen, and there are still stray dragons to deal with. But Tarn convinced me that I was needed here. <laughs> Working with a dragon? What an odd sensation. So Tarn has told me. He has been exchanging letters with Sai Sahan for some time. Do not expect me to turn my back on the creature, but I will respect this alliance. Moons, this must be what a mouse feels like in the presence of a purring Alfik. I traveled to southern elsewhere, not just to finish this business with the dragons. The Khajiit of Pelitim have been on their own for too long. The time has come to welcome them back into the Confederacy. The Elsewhere Confederacy. An alliance between Anequina and Pelitim. The various political upheavals and the Nahatan flu have left the Confederacy in shambles. I plan yeah, it's gotta be like a bonus quest for completing both Garish of the areas. Insisted I bring an armed escort. He worries so. Marching down from Rimen, I suppose. Tarn was in a hurry, so he had me practice my portal making. Zamarak and the others will catch up to us, eventually. Five Claw, you just want to hear tales of your exploits. Very well. Yeah, see. You and Abner Tarn arrived in Northern Elsewhere to help deal with the dragon threat that Tarn unintentionally released upon us. Along the way, we discovered a terrible truth. That Euraxia, the usurper queen, Tarn's half-sister, orchestrated the release of the dragons. We ended her reign, only to learn that the dragons had plans of their own. Calgrontid, leader of the dragons, sought the power hidden in Jod's core. We killed the dragon Mulamir and flung Calgrontid into the void, but not before yeah, but he didn't die. absorbed the core's power. Then I took back my family's throne and accepted the crown of Anequina. As for Calgrontid, you should talk to Tarn. I see that my instructions were followed to the letter. The champion of Aquina. Sai Sahan and the dragon Nafala together in the same place, and I have brought Chimera. We have much to discuss. It concerns Calgrontid. Calgrontid absorbed a good deal of the core's power before we stopped him. Oh, and now I hope get to kill him? in the void after we dislodged him, but like us, he made his way back to Tamriel. I've been hunting for him ever since. Not just that. I pieced together his ultimate plan. Calgrontid boasted he would become the equal of Akatosh, and your dealings with Lodvalon and the cult of the New Moon suggest they were preparing for an ascension. Isn't it obvious? Calgrontid plans to become a god. There's an island off the coast, Dragonhold. In the Kunzari legends, it was the dragon's seat of power. I can't open a portal to it, I can't even scry it. It's protected by potent magic. You face the cult of the New Moon? The cultists mm -hmm. revere Calgrontid. They must have a method for getting to and from the island. I assume their base at the New Moon Fortress holds the answers we seek. Strange green stone. Does that sound like what you're looking for, Thorn? Indeed. Since I read about it in your reports, I wanted to examine it. Chimera, can you... We're going back to the fortress. The New Moon Fortress. Bob, wow. yeah, she was up there. Those Montclair traders ambushed the guard at Hinald Farm. Mm. Don't you know that interruptions at nap time cause mange of the fur? You mean other than the cultists that were trying their damnedest to disembowel us? Wait a moment. You're going back there. 
What in the two moons could possibly warrant a return visit to that awful place? Huh. Now that you mention it, I did hear a few of those nutters mentioning sending the green stone to an island. And they were certainly sacrificing something on that altar in the amphitheater. I am not a mage. I wouldn't know a portal from a hole in the ground. But that's where they were gathering the green, uh, Aeon Stone, I think they called it. If they have a way to move the stone, it must be in the amphitheater. That's where I would look. May the moons protect you on your mission. If you need a helping claw, come find me. After my nap. I heard Aelia say something about meeting with the Queen of Inequina, which I take to be some sort of euphemism. As for the captain, he went to collect his special order, a case of plum brandy, the good stuff. Already storing it away, I'd wager. Yeah, let's go back to the fortress. Yeah, maybe now you get to kill that final dragon, man. Nice bonus mission. I expected the new moon cultists to disperse after the death of Latvulan. I suppose Kalgrantid has other ideas. We need to determine how the cultists reach the dragon's protected island. But according to Tharn, the cult operates both here and on the island. They must have a way to get from here to there. The stockpile of Aeon Stone and this amphitheater are as good a place to start our search as any. That entrance has most likely been sealed in response to what you and she accomplished here. A structure as ancient as this must have other entrances, though. Let's find one and make our way to the amphitheater. Tharn will be fine. He just needs to catch his breath. Which means I get a few blissful moments without listening to his scathing observations. Now let's move quickly. Galgrantid must be dealt with before he can complete his ascension. The fortress is built atop the cliffside, and the river runs along its base. There must be another way into the fortress along the river. I can feel it in my beard. Along here, I guess. You found a way inside, and without yep. it wasn't too difficult. New Moon Fortress. You never cease to surprise me, son. What now, old man? In the past, I can see oh, wasn't there supposed to be another player here? So there is another player at the door. This is not a shared area. Is here. There is work to do on my island. Oh, give me a fucking break. Oh, there it is. 
as a player. To follow us. Oh, he's green now. <laughs> the portal just closed. Tharn, can you open it? Perhaps, but not by myself. Champion, let's talk. I know. I mean, I'm surprised that there are people here. I hope those people will not fuck up our mission. He looked even more powerful than when we saw him at Jode's core. Now, about that portal. This array of stones forms the portal's focal point. That's Aeon Stone, mined from sites throughout southern elsewhere. I did a little research after receiving Sai's report. We need to energize the stones to activate the portal to Dragonhold. Aeon Stone has no intrinsic power. It amplifies whatever energy it absorbs. That's the key to activating the portal. If you step close to the stones, I'll siphon a bit of your vitality into them. That should provide power enough to open the portal. As I said, I did some research. Approach each Aeon stone and I'll siphon a little of your vitality into them. That should provide the energy I need to activate the portal to Dragonhold. You think so? My knowledge is infinitesimal and it irks me. The stone exists only in Southern Elsewhere. It absorbs and amplifies energy using a process I can utilize but don't fully understand. The cultists certainly accumulated a lot of it, though. You take great pleasure in forcing me to admit to gaps in my knowledge, don't you? Point taken. Calgrontid absorbed a significant amount of energy from Jode's core. With all the stone he had the cultists sent to the island, I assume its unique properties factor into his plans in some fashion. Okay. Hmm. It's a little bit glitchy around here. Good, good. The Aeon Stones hum with energy. That should allow me to open the portal to Dragonhold. This is harder than I thought. Let's open. Our way to the island. Sai, go. Prepare the dragon guard. Go? You can barely stand, old man. Don't argue with me. I remember when Damn spells such as this took barely any effort. While Sai rallies the dragon guard, our job will be to reach the island and find a way to lower its defenses. Then we can take on Calgrontid with our full contingent. We're going to the ancient seat of Calgrontid's power to face a dragon that not only possesses the might of Jode's core, but the amplifying abilities of the Aeon Stone. I imagine we'll need to be ready for anything. Your concern is touching, but I'd prefer you save it for someone of lesser stature. Now, as we leap into the maw of near certain death, we have one advantage. Calgronti doesn't consider us a threat. Let's show him the error of his ways. Dragonhold. It appears that the portal deposited us inside an ancient structure. I assume we're somewhere beneath the island of Dragonhold. The architecture reminds me of both the Halls of Colossus and the Barrows of Skyrim. Interesting. That's an approximate translation of the Ta'agra text, from the secret histories of the Moonsingers. Calgrontid reigned from here before Kunzari imprisoned him in the Halls of Colossus. Some sort of powerful magic isolates this island, an Aegis. We need to find the source of the Aegis and destroy it so Nathala and the Dragon Guard can join us. We'll never stop Calgrontid without them. Everything I learned about Calgrontid came from a few <laughs> that way? references in the Khajiiti myths. 
Let's see if we can find anything to add to our knowledge while we search for a way to dispel the Aegis. An Aegis is a defensive spell. While the magic used in the Matrix surrounding Dragonhold is unknown to me, it bears some resemblance to spells I've cast in the past. I assume the Aeon Stones serve as a key component in the process, whatever it is. That supposition was simply an educated guess. But yes, I believe that by channeling the energy from Jode's core through this strange Aeon Stone, Calgrontid can achieve an unprecedented level of power. Will that equal godhood? Who can say? Mm, yeah. All right, let's go. I don't like the way this island is shaking. There's a dragon on top of it, so maybe it's a tiny island. Let's not linger in these caves. It feels like the ceiling might collapse at any moment. <laughs> that guy was actually getting closer. Obviously of Kajiti origin. Old. Maybe as ancient as these ruins. Perhaps older. I think this depicts one of the forbidden legends. Oh, I can think of any number of reasons for a culture to declare a myth or legend forbidden. Though most involve topics too disruptive or dangerous to discuss openly. This particular tale deals with the rise of the new moon. Indeed. Anything that hints at changing the status quo poses a danger to those in charge. See the number of moons? The Khajiit acknowledge multiple moons, but they rarely depict any besides Joan and Jode. The third moon is larger than both of them. The figures at the bottom. Those must represent the new moon cultists. And see the Aeon Stone, emanating energy that gives rise to the third moon? Yes, I'm certain. This depicts the legend of the Dark Aeon. I came across another one of the secret Moonsinger myths during my research. It predicts the coming of a powerful new moon, the Dark Aeon. I think Calgrontid seeks to make this ancient prognostication a reality. Now, let's find the Aegis. According to the legend, this new moon presages a time of darkness and the birth of a new supreme being. Calgrontid seeks to make the prophecy come true. Damn it. I won't have my legacy tarnished by a mad dragon I inadvertently released. Ah, the confidence of youth. Very well then, let's get on with it. We still need to find the source of the magic that's protecting this island. Oh, how difficult can a bit of stop another dragon? Already stopped a few. Okay. 
Okay, easy enough. Wait, there is another way this way? Oh, this is easy, because you don't have to go all the way outside. I mean, at the top outside. guys running back. Yeah, there's no need to kill him. Where is this guy? Wait, is he down there? Oh, there he is. Oh, no, no, no. Nope. There we go. So much for feeling like my old self again. It took every iota of energy I absorbed from the Aeon Stone, and all I accomplished was to wound the dragon and drive it off. And now, I'm as used up and worthless as an empty water skin. The injured dragon. There's nothing more dangerous, but also totally predictable. It will head to a secure location to mend its wounds. What could be more secure than the source of Dragon Hall's defenses? Your observational skills never cease to amaze me. The energy gave me a boost, but it also wreaked havoc with my body. A mortal vessel was never meant to contain such power. Now that it's gone, I'm nearly spent. I'm not sure we stopped the ritual in time. Bro, I swear those dialogues, man, it has like... 10 things to say. Like before actually going and Let's talking the again. The island's defenses while we still can. The humans and Khajiit could. Okay, how is all of this stuff relevant though? Because I thought, I mean, it has to be maybe useful in such a way, or is it just normal as long as the lore? Is in place, Nafalar can't reach Dragonhold. We need to remove it. Awesome. I'm going now. enemies down here okay, we need to hit a few to get our stamina back there we go 
Dobra. <laughs> Told you. Can I talk to this guy again? But why though? Why would we have to talk to him again? I don't get it. Did we just talk to him? He came down over here. I have to talk to him again. And he's not even here. Where is he at? Why does it say we have to talk to him and he's not even here? Where did he go? Bro, am I blind? Where? Maybe he glitched out somewhere? Oh, he's not here, he's not finding anything. Like, do we need to exit this area and come back? Or? There's just a few more enemies here. Like, I don't understand, like, why do we have to talk to him again? For what? Why do we need to hold another conversation? Like, every single time when we have to talk to these NPCs at different locations, they never spawn. They glitch out every single time. Like this... It's happened so many times now. So how am I supposed to fix this? Maybe if we log out and come back? I mean, I don't get it. Like, how can we fix this shit? They, they, they just never spawn. <laughs> Plus that why do we have to talk to them? Every single time. Like fuck me, let's go, let's finish the mission. Let's kill that dragon and then leave. And I hope we're going to spawn back here and this guy's fixed. Because otherwise, I mean, I don't know, we have to quit the... Quest, I guess. I... No, there it is. There's the fucker. Clearly, this tapestry continues the legend of the Dark Aeon. I suppose it would be more accurate to call it a prophecy. Because the so, how is this useful? What we see here happened in the past. They believe the Dark Aeon will arise in the future, the very near future, if Calgrontid has his way. I think the land at the bottom represents this island. What is? See the vast amounts of Aeon stone, including the spire at the center? Its energy feeds into the new moon as it rises into the night sky. That's the dark Aeon. 
the new moon, the new god that Calgrontid plans to ascend to. But all that energy, that must be the source of Dragonhold's defenses. We have to find this location. We need to hurry and find the wounded dragon. The tremors grow worse with every passing moment, and I fear we're running out of time. We kill it, though I'm hardly fit for another battle. Even so, I doubt we'll be able to deal with the Aegis while the dragon still lives. And now we can use this door. Well, this is our dragon. This is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, how is he halfway dead though? Oh, because he's injured, right? Yeah, because he was injured, that's the thing. I thought it would be at full health though. Destroy the ages. Now we need to get out of here. I'm gonna get this as well, this. I may have dealt with the island's defenses. Oh, or maybe these guys attacked him. Like he landed, they attacked him, he flew off again. Right? That would be it as well. Escape dragon bolt. Hurry! It will take the last of my remaining strength to hold this open. Find Kamira and Saisahan. Prepare the dragon guard to attack. I'll okay. Over here. I told you I sensed Tarn's magic. Then where is he? By the sacred sons of Hakuda. Up in the sky. Oh, it's this island. Right. How did the dragon's island get into the sky? And where is Tarn? Five Claw. Tell me what is happening. The prophecy of the dark Aeon and the new moon. I should have seen it sooner. But what of Tarn? Where is he? Then we must return to the Dragon Guard Sanctum and rally our forces. Even if Tarn managed to overcome the island's defenses, reaching an island in the sky could pose a significant problem. I must ponder the possibilities. I do not want to imagine Tarn alone on that island. We must gather our forces and get back to him quickly, Five Claw. I fear time is running out for all of us. That is more of a question for Sai Sahan. But ready or not, they are all we have. Let us return to the Dragon Guard Sanctum and figure out how to reach the floating island. We can use another portal. We can use the other dragon. Specific sent since he has been training me to understand my attunement i have learned to recognize his magic and track it when he unleashes it i followed the trail and it led me here Now I gotta go to our safe location. The 
island is floating, Dragon. I saw it. Dragon has no sense of propriety. Flying off without so much as a buy or leave. Without him or Thorn, we need to devise our own method for reaching Dragon Hole. By the Sword of Saints, I have no idea what that might be. And we'll find that way. Somehow. For now, rest. Oh, so there's going to be another quest. Take this the main quest. Remember, you can Light armor. Grunted's plan and remove the dragon hold's protection. We're one step closer to ending this, my friend. I refuse to be stymied by a hovering you say so. The floating island could be part of Kalgrunty's plan. But it could also mean he wanted privacy for his final push toward ascension. Oh, we have a flying pet now. We need to find a way to get up. Nice. There. I'll take it. I want to get a flying, Not another flying, I mean another pet. Experience. We have no way to activate the Aeon Stones. No, we'll need to come up with a different solution. As far as I know, this is the first time the Dragon Guard has faced this particular obstacle. We need to find a way to get up to that island, and we need to do so quickly. Talk to Queen Chimera. Her portal magic may turn out to be our only option. Oh damn, 101,000 experience points. Now how do you activate this stuff? Uh, okay, so we have this. No, it's not the companion. What is the... Oh, there we go. Quick slots. Go. I want this one. Then we managed to get a few non combat pets. How do I sell this? I want it here. There we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Looks nice. But this is our uh, new pet and that was the mission uh, bonus main mission hope you guys uh, have enjoyed it